Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing how we can use Canva's new app called the Dream Lab. Dream Lab is an app which you can use to create photorealistic images, illustrations, 3D renders, etc. What I loved about this was how it was able to generate text-based designs. I have a Redbubble store where I sell stickers which are mainly text-based. So this app is like a dream come true for me. I had previously tried Ideogram, Midjourney, ChatGPT, etc. They are all excellent but uh, they all have um, different subscriptions which I have to subscribe to. So that can add to my expense. So since I'm already a Canva Pro member, I can actually use Streamlab to do my text-based designs without additional costs. So I will be creating a text-based design and I will show you how you can use the different functionalities that are within Canva to edit and enhance your design. So let's get started. The last one is actually the simplest, so try that first and if there are some elements that you are still not satisfied with, you can come back to the other ways that you can use to edit. I have already generated a few designs for my idea and uh, this is what uh, it was generating. Uh, you can see that uh, they are not at all perfect, in fact I, it is um, weird at f uh, and uh, the wordings are all over the place, some are not even what I worded it. So what I actually did was I played around with the styles that are available within the Dream Lab. So as I played around with it, it started getting better. So there is this smart function. You can click on this and you will see there are a lot of styles available over here. I have played around with a few and I found that Vector works the best for the text-based designs. Okay, so these are, uh, these are Vector-based designs as you can see and they are much better than the previous ones I created. However, they still have a few glitches here and there. There are some additional words, squiggly lines, extra full stop, etc. So uh, this and I'm actually generating another one. You can see that it is actually giving me what I want it to, but there are still a few nitty gritties that we need to take care of before that uh, design can be finalized. Okay. So what we are going to do is we, uh, we are actually going to edit these designs. You can either download your design and do editing in Photoshop or etc. Or you can actually do it directly within Canva. So once you click on edit, it is going to open up a new workspace. And from here, we are going to use the different functionalities within Canva to actually edit this image. The very first thing I did was to remove the background. However, it only got rid of the green portion. The rest is still there. So I'm going to just crop this uh, image a little bit. Now I will use the magic eraser tool to get rid of that uh, extra M that is in the image. So I'm going to use the brush function and I will just uh, select the portion. You can try the click also. If it works, then that is good. If it doesn't, then use uh, the brush. Just increase the brush size if it doesn't work the first time. Okay, here the click function is not working. So I will just stick to the brush. Click on it and then I'm just going to increase the brush size a little bit and then I'm going to touch up on that and erase. You might need to do it a few times before it is fully gone. Okay, so now this has been erased. Okay, so we're going to go back and from here I'm going to go to edit again. I'm going to grab the text. Okay, we are going to grab all the text from here. Click on all text and click on grab. Once it is ready, it will go back to your workspace. So here you can separate that box and the text. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the box and now we have our text based design. Now you can just uh, double click on the text box and then uh, do the necessary changes that you want to make. And now we have a nice uh, text based design which uh, we can use for our tour. So this is basically one way of doing it. Now let's go back to the designs that we created earlier. Okay, from here now we will choose another design and we will just uh, edit it. Okay, click on edit, it will open up a new workspace like previously. Okay, from here we are going to go to the adjust portion. We are going to play around with the temperature, the tint, the brightness, the contrast and everything. This is one way of um, editing your design. You can just play around with it until you're satisfied. 
then if you feel that uh, we still have a few things we want to get rid of you can use the magic erase function again and then uh, use it to erase whatever you don't need it could be words it could be squiggly lines extra full stops or random things that you don't want in your design so get rid of them now we are going to do the grab text to again click on edit go to grab text select all the text and uh, you can grab it here you can see it is divided into two portion doesn't matter so you just arrange it accordingly you can group them together if you want you can change the text here you can change the style of it over here you can do a lot of things just double click on it if you want to like uh, put input to more words or you want to so far we have looked at removing background uh, how we can use uh, magic eraser how we can use the adjust function within canva to actually enhance and edit your image now i'm going to show you the simplest method which i've already shown you um, what you need to do is if it is a text-based design that you're working on you just need to click on the image go to the grab text function and then select all text and grab that text from that image that is all you need to do if it is not uh, any um if you don't have any images or anything else uh, that are in the design you just need this grab text function once you have it double click on the text box get rid of everything that you don't need and you have your design ready you can change the color change the text change the outline style everything that you need to do over here this is the simplest method and it works like magic it is very very good If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.